everybody, welcome back to Living Traditions Homestead. We're out in the garden today. Now, it is the middle of February, so we are nowhere near gardening season yet, but it's time to start thinking about gardening season, even though it's a long way off. Now, as you can see behind us, there's like, you know, a ton of dead stuff out here. Every fall, we have really great intentions of having a bunch of energy yet and taking out all of the plants, sweeping everything out, taking down the electric netting. Um, and every year we are exhausted and find other things that we should be paying attention to, and it just doesn't happen. And this past fall was no exception, uh, especially because our new house was coming and we were moving and our attention was just on those things rather than the garden. Right. Hey, speaking of that, some good news, you guys. We did sell the old homestead. So we are now officially 100% on this property, which means this will be the first summer in three years, three years now that we've been able to focus 100% of our attention on just one place. And that is going to make things so awesome. So. We're, we're happy that someone else is gonna be blessed by the other homestead, and we're excited to uh, move on and just be here to focus all of our attention. Now, in a recent video, we talked with you guys about how half of all of the things that we normally grow in this garden, half of that we're going to be growing in our greenhouse. So essentially, we only need half as much space out here in our big garden. Right. So that got us thinking, because we already have this area, you know, sectioned off for gardening, and we had it twice as big as what we actually need now, it would give us the perfect opportunity to be building soil on half of it while we garden on half of it. And so that's kind of what we're gonna be starting today, and we wanna take you guys along as we do that and kind of tell you our plan and show you our plan as we start that process today. Now, before we get into the changes that we're making in this garden for this year, we want to kind of back up and review a little bit of what we did last year so you kind of understand a little bit more of what we're doing. So again, this is our big in-ground garden from last year. We love to use this woven weed fabric. Um, it is woven so that water can get through and air can circulate around it, but it acts as not only a weed barrier, but it acts as a, a mulch on top of the soil. We absolutely love it. We've been using it for probably five years now, and you can get it at uh, places like growersolution.com. There are places on Amazon that are selling it, uh, but we really do love it. We plan to continue using this this year for sure, maybe forever. <laughs> so last year we did this garden. Uh, we had marigolds and one and a half rows of tomatoes, half a row of peppers, a full row of snap beans, a full row of edamame. Then we had a half row of okra, half row of uh, cucumbers. Here we had cantaloupe and watermelon. We had summer squash and uh, spaghetti squash. And then we had an area in the back for corn. It wasn't sweet corn, it was a dent corn uh, that you dry and use for cornmeal or you can use it for animal feed. So that's what we were doing last year. Like I said, we are gonna be doing half as much this year in this space. All right, so let's go over what the plan is for this year then in the garden. Now, like Sarah said, the garden's only gonna be half as big as it was last year, but that doesn't really mean we're only doing half as much growing. Remember, half of the garden's gonna be here, and the other half of the garden's gonna be in the greenhouse. And then we may actually put in some raised beds as well, but that's for another video. So up here at the front of the garden where Sarah did marigolds last year, we're actually gonna do a row of early spring brassicas this year. Here in our area, we can plant those around the end of March, beginning of April. So that's gonna be some broccoli, some cauliflower, and some cabbage here on this front row. That'll be the only thing we're doing early in the spring out here. Where the tomatoes were last year, this year we're gonna do peppers. Where the peppers were last year, this year we're gonna do tomatoes. Instead of doing our normal bush green beans this year, we're going to be doing a row of pole beans here. So we're trying something new there. We're going to be doing the bush beans in the greenhouse this year. We haven't decided yet what we're going to do where the edamame was last year. So we're not quite sure about that row yet. 
And then over here where our okra and cucumbers are, those we're actually gonna leave the same this year and do the same thing. And that's where the garden's gonna pretty much end for this year. Now, we'll be taking up the weed fabric here. You can see some of it blew up in a big windstorm a couple weeks ago. And then the area back here where we grew corn last year, we're actually just gonna let that go back into grass. So we're not actually gonna do anything with that today. So the plan is that since we only need half the garden, this way we can always be amending half while we grow in half. And then next year we'll grow in this half while we amend the front half and we'll be able to rotate like that every year. So we've got some work to do before we can get to the point where we're actually starting to amend the soil. We're gonna bring you guys along on everything that we're doing today to get this started. Now one thing we didn't mention is that we've been allowing the chickens in this area over the winter. So they've been doing a lot of scratching around. They've eaten up a lot of the things that had kind of fallen on the ground at the end of the season. Peppers, tomatoes, okra, all kinds of stuff. They've been having a good time all winter long. We also wanted to mention that in the background you might be hearing uh, some noise. Voices, uh, screwdrivers, saws, that kind of thing. We do have some work that's going on here on the homestead in the background. We're not quite ready to share that with you, but if you hear those noises and that kind of thing, that's, that's what all that is about. Right. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to get the electric fence taken down from around the garden so that we can start getting in there and actually getting some work done. So the next thing we need to do is take out the drip system from the back half of the garden here. Since we're gonna be planting in the same rows as last year on the front half, we're gonna leave the system where it is on the front half. But I do have to basically cut it in half in order to take up back the back half here. So along the main line here, which runs on this side of the garden, I'll actually just cut the main line tubing and then change where the hose connection is from our garden hose. So we know that this is gonna be our last row that we're planting here, so I'll cut, you know, a couple feet away. Now most of this drip system on the back half that we're taking out will be able to save and reuse, so nothing's gonna to go to waste. And then this piece here, I'm just gonna add this on. This has a pressure regulator, and then that's where we hook our actual garden hose. There we go, and that's all set. Now we can run just this front half with no problems. Now we just need to get this front half taken up. We'll put it over off to the side for now for storage until we can put it, you know, put it away for good. The next step is for us to take these big sheets of weed fabric off. We're going to uh, fold them up and put them in storage. It'll end up being for probably a couple months until we're ready to put them back on here. Now these sheets of weed fabric, we use 15 foot weed fabric. Uh, it's something that we can get locally here rather than using the three foot or the six foot section. So this will actually happen pretty fast for us. 
Now today, like we said, we are going to be putting some amendments down on the soil, uh, but over the next few months, until it really warms up and we're at risk of this being taken over by weeds, uh, we're going to continue adding amendments to all over this area. When it warms up, we'll bring out that weed fabric from storage and put it back down so that the rain can get through, everything can decompose, all of those nutrients and amendments can soak into the ground and things can start breaking down to start forming a really nice top layer of compost. So like I said, the next step is to take these all up and fold them up. All right, so we've got everything taken out of the back half of that garden now. You can see that this front half where we still have weed fabric, that is where this year's garden is going to go. Obviously, we still have some cleanup to do there, but that's gonna be another day. And then this area now where it's just open dirt, this is where next year's garden is going to go and where we're gonna start putting things today. We're gonna to bring over some compost that we have that we've been aging for about a year now. It's mostly quail and rabbit uh, bedding that we've cleaned out and it's been aging for about a year. It's got some other things in there that we've composted as well. And then we've got a bunch of different hay piles around where uh, some of the calves that we you know sold off, they were, they were eating and now there's a bunch of hay there. So we're gonna rake that up, put it in the trailer and bring it over. It'll already have cow manure in it as well. And we'll just be putting all of that into this area. Initially, I was going to try to spread it all out, but now that I think about it, because we're allowing the chickens in this area, I think we're going to just put several big piles of it around and then let the chickens hopefully take care of the rest. If they don't spread it out as good as we want before we put the weed fabric down, then we'll just spread it out at that time. But I think they're going to do a pretty good job of spreading it out. So let's hop on the tractor. We're going to head over first and we're going to get that compost pile. We're going to put that down first and then we'll get hay and other things, whatever we can find that we think will break down and turn into good soil.
Let the anthem rise up Let the song ring out Let the ground now tremble As we raise a shout Let the anthem rise up Let the song ring out And let the ground now tremble as we raise a shout Oh, there's only one name We lift up a shout We lift up a shout Oh, together we sing We lift up a shout We lift up a shout So we've got all the compost dumped. It actually ended up being more compost than I thought, so that's great. It looks like the chickens are gonna be interested in scratching it all around, but we're gonna help them just a little bit by just grabbing our garden rakes and just kind of smoothing each pile out. We're not gonna worry about trying to cover this entire area. I think over time the chickens will take care of that. After we smooth those out, then we're gonna start hauling out some of the spent hay that we have. Uh, the calves that we've been taking to the market, we've been feeding them in a separate lot. They've actually kind of wasted quite a bit of hay, which we're right. a little bit disappointed in, but, but we'll be able to still use it. Right. Another good thing about that is that they have been, you know, pooping in all of that spent hay. Uh, so when we bring that over, it's gonna be filled with some of their manure, some of their urine. Right. Um, we're gonna just dump those in piles here. Right. And we're, we're, we're thinking that the chickens will be very interested in spreading that out for us. Today is one of those kind of deceiving winter days here in the Ozarks. It's 65 degrees out and gorgeous today, yep. but it's mid-February, it's still winter. So even though it's nice today, tomorrow's supposed to be cold and rainy and windy and just not a nice day. So we're trying to get as much of this mm -hmm. done today as we can because with as much rain as we're supposed to get tomorrow, I'm not gonna be able to get in here again with the tractor for probably another couple weeks because it's, it just gets way too muddy and we tear everything up. So the more of this we can get done today, the better. So our job is to get everything over here and let the chickens take care of everything else. Another thing that we're gonna do is we are going to spread some scratch around when we're done. Oh, right. Um, the chickens, we don't give our chickens scratch. Um, they will probably be very excited once they find out what that right. is. But if we sprinkle some scratch around here and they're no, they know that there are seeds in here, uh, they're gonna scratch around even more. Uh, so we plan on doing that. We need to get some, we don't have any scratch. So that's right. something we're gonna be doing in the next couple of days. Right, and we don't really care if we end up throwing seeds in here because first of all, this is gonna sit for a year, over a year before we ever plant in it. Right. And we're gonna cover it with the weed fabric when we do plant in it. So it doesn't really matter if there's weed seeds or anything else because those will all be snuffed out by the weed fabric once we get ready to plant. So we need to get going, it's getting later in yep. the afternoon. We probably have an hour of daylight left. Yep, so we need to get going. Lots of nice worms in here. Good.
Well, some of the hay I was able to move with the tractor because it was really wet and kind of stuck together, but some of it was too loose, so I loaded that into the trailer. We're gonna take that over to the garden and that's gonna be the final thing that we do today. I can see from here that the chickens are already getting to work, so that is good news. Let's take this over yet and put this in, and then we're gonna call it a wrap for today. All right, so this little trailer dumps, so I'm hoping we can just kind of tip the trailer up and pull forward and call it a day. I'm not sure that's gonna happen or not. This hay, because it's so wet, is really heavy and I'm not sure we're gonna be able to tip the trailer up. I do have a dump trailer, but that's full of firewood right now, so, and I can't pull that with the ATV, so. All right, we do have Oh, well, here it goes. Well, okay. Let's grab a rake and see if we can get it to start, and then we might be able to pull forward to. Oh, holy that's, cow! That's what I was afraid of. It's super heavy. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Wonder if we can bring the tractor with the with Bucket. the forks and go down. And pull Even if I get one fork, maybe. Pull back. That might work if I get one fork, because I don't think both will fit in there. I bet it will. Let's try it. There's, I guarantee those two forks will fit in there. Well, that was an excellent idea Sarah had. <laughs> Thanks. That saved us a ton of work. And especially at the end of a day, saving a lot of work is very nice. All right, I'm gonna get the ATV out of here and then we can see what we've done today. Well, we've got everything in the garden that we want in there for today. Like Sarah said earlier though, we're gonna keep adding stuff for the next several months, probably until May, yeah, we'll maybe. keep adding stuff. And then we'll cover it with the weed fabric and it'll stay like that for like an entire year until we're ready to plant there. Even though everything's kind of mounded up right now, I really do feel like the chickens are gonna do a good job. If they don't, uh, then we'll come in with forks or pitchforks later on and we'll spread everything around. But they're already doing a pretty good job. Well, we are really excited to have kind of a more manageable size of a garden outside of here. Uh, and also we're excited to increase what we're doing in the greenhouse and really uh, use that to its full limits. We're excited about both of those. Right, and by having this where half is gonna be planted and half not planted, it's really gonna give us time to start building soil, which is something that in the past, because we've always wanted to plant, 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 we haven't had the time to do it probably as good as we should. So you guys, we are so happy that you joined us today while we started working on this garden. So nice to be able to be outside in the gorgeous weather in the middle of February right. here in Southern Missouri. This is one of the things we really love about the Ozarks is that you get days like this in the winter where, you know, it, it feels almost like a summer day. Right. So you guys remember if you're enjoying our videos to make sure that you hit that subscribe button below. And also remember that the best way that you can help us here on the homestead is just to share our videos on your social media. Until next time, thank you so much for stopping by our homestead. Take care and God bless. God bless.